Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. Today we're going to be talking about which faction should you choose. Not factions as in clans, we're talking about actual factions. But if you are interested in joining the Riru Koi, Koi Fish crew, then all you got to do is actually just go down below to the description, join our Discord server, and stay posted whenever they fix the server joining and we can actually join each other's servers for once. So... At the moment, not really. We can't do that. But uh, by tomorrow, hopefully, we will be able to join each other's servers. Now, great. Now, first things first. What you need to know what these factions give is these these factions give amazing perks. And these perks are given whenever your faction wins said event. Now, you can change your faction, but it is going to cost you some Robux. The only downside with this is that it's a... Uh, you know, if the if the faction wins, then, you know, that's like, that's your deal. You know what I mean? Then you get the benefits of that faction. If your faction does not win, then no one gets the benefits from that specific faction. So, you know, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, the, the first faction I want to talk about is definitely Thar. In my opinion, Thar is just one of the weaker ones. A very, very weaker faction whenever it comes down to people actually wanting to care about it. It's cool. It's led by a dragon. But no one cares because the buffs are pretty mediocre. And with this buff, you know, it is what it is. I just can't really say too much about it besides the fact that it's just not that good. And with it being not that good, I mean by the, the victory perks. Now, the perks that are activated... Our luck boost in, uh, increases the, the probability of favorable outcomes in, cha in chance-based activities by 15%. Now, what that means is there is a chance that you will be able to boost the chances either when crafting something incredibly expensive or rolling for something incredibly expensive. But a 15% chance is not a lot. So no one cares. Uh, Mind Over Matter is the second perk that it comes with. When mana is above 50%, increase all skill damage by 50%, reflecting Thar's pro protective wisdom. This is okay. It's just not exactly what people want compared to the other stuff that actually is in the other factions, and we'll talk about that right now. His Olympic ability is called Flame Strike. If you guys played the Battlegrounds game, then you will know what exactly the Flame Strike is. The Flame Strike is the dragon's head that is able to uh, show up in your PvP match as a superpower, and it pretty much burns the other enemy uh, a lot, like profusely, like a lot, a lot. And this burn is so bad to the point where it can even drop your enemy's defense and they won't be paying attention. They get burned alive. So that's it's not bad. You know, that's the only good thing about this entire uh, faction. Now, Elaine, uh, this faction is pretty good because if this faction wins the event, it increases maximum health symboli uh, by 50 percent. Everyone's maximum health by 50 percent in your faction. If you guys win. And, you know, that's really good. Because that's just more HP, man. That that can win you some real, real fights. But, of course, if everyone's going into that faction, then they're going to take it really fast, knowing that, you know, it, it can be pay to win if you want it to be. Uh, Harvest Boost. Now, this is the best part. Increases the quality gathered, uh, the quantity gathered by resources by 40%. 40% more resources is very nice, especially if you're just getting wood or rocks or anything like that. But is that the best? I don't think so because of the fact that, yes, don't get me wrong, it is nice to get bonus resources. But, you know, it's I don't I think the world's just full of t so many resources. I think there is no reason for the resources to even be like boost gathered, I guess. I feel like this should be a side perk that you can unlock through a side quest. Not a faction ability. It's just not worth it. Uh, Olympic ability. Resurrect. 
Resurrect summoning t a tower tree of life links players to the tree of life. Uh, if the summoner falls while connected, they are revived. So it's pretty much you keep yourself alive. But if you suck at PvP, then this is useless. Uh, last one is Neld. Now, Neld is probably the best faction, in my opinion, because uh, his uh, if his faction wins, the Dark Pact activates, and the Dark Pact allows all physical and magical power to be increased by up to 70% based off of your HP. So, let's say you lose, you're down to your last 30, you get 70% extra damage. And this is big, because a lot of these bosses do quite a bit of damage out here. So, you know, you do have to take a hit once or twice, and, you know, getting more damage for being under pressure is probably the best, compared to only, like, not being able to skill spam with Mind Over Matter. Drop Boost. Now, increase drop rates from enemies and chests by 15%. That's big. We're talking about increased drop rates. Not increased drops, drop rates. Which means higher chances at all the good loot. Including for bosses. It's like, it's so lopsided. Why would you not do this? Uh, let's see. Olympic ability. Silent Sanctum. Release the corrupt souls, firing beams at all enemies within range. The dark energy cripples their ability to cast spells. This is any skills. This is so broken. If you could literally just silence your enemy, there's no point in your enemy even continuing when you could just batter them after they've been silenced. It's so tough. Yep. Well, that pretty much does it. Uh, now we're going to talk about which one is probably the best one you should choose. And in my opinion, I think it is always going to be the one that increases your drop rates and your damage. And that is just going to be Nadell. With a, also a very broken Olympic ability. Maybe it's because he's like the new... Uh, I think... I don't know. He's just so good. You know what I mean? There's There's no downside to this guy. He's got nothing but good abilities. Increased drop rates? That's really good. Well, that's my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. I will see you guys later. Take it easy and peace out. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to go down below. Join the Koi Fish crew. Uh, everyone's getting invited to the guild. Yeah, awesome.